What's up, people of the internet? I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're doing well during this time. If you don't know who I am, my name is Royce. And for today's video, well, a lot of my friends and family has been asking, Royce, how do you make these videos? Can you send me the recipe? Or in fact, can you make a video, like a step-by-step -step process of how you make these food videos? So for today's video, I'll be showing you a time-saving, easy to follow, and fun way to cook a Korean dish in your own homes in only one pan. And that's gonna be kimchi fried rice, or in Korean, kimchi pokumbap for your family and friends. And it looks something like this. All right guys, if you want to enjoy Korean fried rice like how I do, you need a couple things. For this recipe, you need some kimchi, some roasted seaweed, some sesame seeds, onions, eggs, spam, sesame oil, soy sauce, vegetable oil, green onions, and most importantly, you need some rice. So down below in the description box, I'll put the proper measurements for this recipe. So let's get started. First off, let's get some rice in this rice cooker, three cups to be exact, and as that's cooking, let's work on the other ingredients. All right, so while this is cooking, let's get this heated up with one to two teaspoons of vegetable oil. All right, so let's get all the chopping out of the way. Let's get the onions, the scallions, the kimchi, the spam, all on the cutting board, and let's cut them into small pieces. All right, so now that we got all the chopping out of the way, let's measure out the rest of the ingredients. So all we need left is three teaspoons of sesame oil, two teaspoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame seeds, and lastly, we need one third cup of kimchi brine. All right, so now everything's prepped up. All that's left is the easy part and that's frying everything in the pan. But before we start frying, if you're using a gas stove like myself, I recommend to use a low to medium heat. But if you're using an electric stove, I recommend to use a medium to high heat. So let's start this frying process and we're going to be first adding the onions, the kimchi, and spam into the frying pan and stir frying that for two minutes. Alright, so after we stir fry this for two minutes, we're going to put the cover back on and we're going to let this fry for another two minutes. So after two minutes with the cover on, we're gonna be adding three to four scoops of rice into the pan itself. Just wanna let you know that after you add in the three to four cups of rice, you really wanna incorporate the rice into the mixture of the kimchi, onions, and spam in order to really bring in the flavor and let it absorb into the rice. After mixing this well in the frying pan, now it's time to add the remaining ingredients, which is the soy sauce, the kimchi brine, the sesame seeds, as well as the sesame oil. All right, so now that most of the ingredients are now in the frying pan, all that's left is pretty much making an empty pocket for the eggs. So what we want to do is move the kimchi fried rice to the edge of the pan to make an empty space for the eggs. So after you create a small pocket with the kimchi fried rice in the frying pan, all that's left is pretty much to add a little bit of vegetable oil in order for you to fry your egg in the center of the pan. So for this recipe, I kind of like my fried eggs a little bit on the runnier side. You don't really have to do this type of way. You can make your fried eggs to your own liking or your own preference. I just kind of like it this way, so we're gonna be making runnier eggs for this recipe. Now, I just wanna let you know that you don't have to make your fried eggs all in one pan with this whole pocket thing going. You can make your fried eggs in a totally separate pan, completely separate, 
but I just think this is the best way because, well, to be honest, it's just easier, less things to clean, and it's just less time consuming. So once this whole entire fried egg is pretty much done, I'm gonna be moving on to the finishing touches. For the finishing touches, we'll be sprinkling on some more sesame seeds, some cut up green onions, and lastly, some cut up seaweed. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your kimchi fried rice ready to serve. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. I hope you enjoy your kimchi fried rice and until the next one, God bless.